What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Horizon Home Theater. I know it's been a, a minute since I posted something, so I do apologize for that, but uh, unfortunately, life does happen. Uh, we got some got some guests here today. Um, we got Mr. John Anthony, and uh, John Anthony is um, one of my first customers. I don't know if you guys have noticed or not. But uh, I did make mention on some other forums that uh, we actually started a Horizon Home Theater dealership. Um, so if you guys are interested in any type of AV equipment or uh, screens or anything else like that, we are carrying several brands right now. So um, be sure to hit me up on uh, at uh, Horizon Home Theater. You can email me at horizontheater2020 at gmail.com. Or you can call the number that's going across the ticker. So, John, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, Don. Thanks for having me on the show. Been enjoying my weekend so far. How about yourself? Oh, very good, very good. My Ravens took a loss today, but uh, yeah, I saw your Cowboys got a win there. Yeah, we we did. So it's always a good day for me when my team wins. <laughs> Makes a big difference. <laughs> and then we also got uh, we also got Mr. Jonathan here. Now, hey guys. Um, Mr. Jonathan, he's actually um, fairly new to the home theater, home theater group, um, and I've been working with him a little bit, helping him do some planning for his, for his theater that he's he's done. But he's he's definitely no rookie when it comes to being a two channel or a movie enthusiast. How you doing today, Jonathan? Doing well, Don. Thanks. How about you? Very well, very well. Thank you so much. So, guys. Um, the purpose of today is for us to go ahead and talk about some of the some of the new Zapedes that have came out. And John, uh, Jonathan, if you, I mean, excuse me, um, John Anthony, if you could just move to the right a little bit mm -hmm. so that we can see that beautiful Zapedi yep. that got shipped to you. Yep. So that is the new uh, signature. This is my old one. This is the Zapedi 4K Pro. And then on top, that is my uh, one of my satellite Zapedi. This is the One SE 4K. So I'm pretty excited. We, uh, we're going to be doing the unboxing of the signature today. It's going to be yes. really exciting. Very much, very much. I'm, I was excited to be able to get that unit out to you. I, I know that um, you're one of the first ones in the, in the U.S. to get this unit. So... Uh, it's very exciting for me to, for you to have that unit. Well, so thank you, Don, for uh, hooking me up with the uh, the wonderful Zapedi signature. I'm really excited, and and it didn't take long at all. It took us what five days to get it. To yeah, me, it even it, less than that. It wasn't very long, like you said. Um, once they came in, we we shipped them right out, and we were able to uh, we were able to get them get that right out to you. So now, Jonathan is my actually guys jonathan's actually my second customer um we had a zapedi ordered but uh unfortunately there was a couple there was an issue with getting it to him or he would have had one right now and um he was looking at doing the signature also um but i, I we're not sure exactly if he's going to continue with the signature what, what are your thoughts on that jonathan I don't know. I, I mean, I, we'll see. We'll see how the unboxing goes. You know, it's uh, <laughs> I, a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, I uh, I thought it was one place where I was like, okay, you know what? I can go with a lower model, but I know once he opens that up, I'm going to be like, yeah, Don, just get me one of those when I come in. <laughs> yeah, you know, we we're always striving for the best, no matter what. So, um, I I'd like to uh, just take a quick look at a couple of the couple of the other units that are that are out there. We've mentioned the signature a couple times, but um, let's take a look at this uh, at the Neo. Now this is the Neo. It does come with a um, a display on the front, which is definitely different than the the previous model i believe uh john anthony you have the 4k pro correct i do and the 4k pro it actually it looks very much like the neo uh or the neo looks more like the 4k pro so uh it's it's a little bit thinner uh not as high and the, the main difference i can see right now is that the uh it's an oled display right in front of the zapd that's that's how you tell the difference but 
other than that, everything else looks very much similar. Yeah, I also uh, own that 4K Pro model, and um, it that 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 one screen display is seems to be uh, one of the differences. Now, the other difference that I believe is that the Neo only has uh, one bay for you to put okay. to put the um, the discs in. I mean, the uh, the internal hard drives in. So let's take a look at some of the differences between the the Neo versus the reference and the signature. Now, one thing that uh, is great, not only for theater, home theater enthusiasts, but it could be any, uh, just a movie enthusiast, is that you can now play this through um, Adobe Vision TV or an HDR TV, a TV that's equipped to play those. And before, none of the other players used to play the, you know, play Adobe Vision or HDR 10 Plus. So it's uh, it's a fantastic addition that Zapiti did here. So as you can tell, um, all three models do play Dolby Vision, uh, Dolby Vision S10, and HDR10. Um, they all three of them got a an ups an, uh, I guess a, an upgrade to the Magic Pixel. Now, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with Magic Pixel. It's basically like an upscaler. It, it, it up, upscales everything. And I can tell you what, when I was playing, let's say, um, like a, 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 an animated movie on my, on my Zapiti, I mean, I literally could not tell the difference between the 4K version versus the um, Blu-ray version whatsoever. So, I, I mean, I, I could not tell the difference. The, uh, the upscaler works phenomenally. What's your experience with that, uh, Gene? Yep. Or so I, I watch a lot of movies, and the one the one scene that popped out in my head would, uh, was Jumanji, and that I, I, I believe it was the first Jumanji movie, uh, the remake of the Jumanji movie, and the scene where they were being chased in the middle of the field by the ostr- ostrich. It was amazing with the upscaling. Like, you can literally... Uh, see a huge improvement compared to the disc because I also have the Panasonic um, 9000 and I compared that scene on my disc, 4K disc, versus that scene running through the ZPD and it definitely blew me away. The coloration was much better. Uh, the detail and the HDR really pop. Yeah, it's, it's it was definitely amazing to, to you know, to barely notice any difference whatsoever between 4K and the um, Blu-ray disc that we have that we play. So another big difference that I noticed is that um, the the signature, the model that you currently um, own there, uh, John Anthony, is the that it has a dual R core processor, and a lot of us know about the Tortle. Uh, excuse me, not processor, um, power supply. It has a dual R-core power supply. Um, a lot of us know about the Toidal power supply. Um, what what do you know about that? Uh, for me, coming from the ZPV Pro, it has a single R-core uh, power supply. Uh, and so pretty much it, when, when I'm upgrading from the Pro up to the Signature, it's going to be uh, the dual uh, all core power supply and my understanding for the signature is that you use one of the all cord for your audio and a separate one for your video right and i actually uh did a little research on this i'm not by by far nowhere near an, an electronic engineer or anything like that but um you know you, i don't know if you can you, i don't know if you can believe everything you read on the web but uh this um this this article that i found here it says that the R core um, actually it actually has greater explosive power than a Tordal transformer. Um, mm. It's also supposed to be uh, need less copper for for each turn. Um, there is low flux leakage and low load current, low loss, and high efficiency. So you know, um, and there's two of those in in the uh, actual. Uh, signature that you guys that 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 you guys are both considering. 
So let's well, go back and go ahead. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I'm considering. He's already got one sitting there. Yeah. Behind him. <laughs> I'm not going to return mine. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. So let's go back and take a look at some of the other comparisons that we got. So the other thing that I saw was there was definitely an increase in RAM memory. And um, it went from two gigs to four gigs. Um, so that, that's going to expand on your on your cache and everything else that's that's in there for it to be able to play a lot smoother. I believe from what I understand is that the uh, the load times are a lot faster also, which um, are, I do want to get in to later on once uh, maybe we can – uh, get John Anthony on, on another video to yeah. go ahead and uh, set up maybe two of the both of the Zapedes and see, uh, and we can do a race to see which one outperforms. Um, the other the other big thing that I did see here is that um, the uh, signature it has a a different DAC than the um, than the reference, and it doesn't seem like the Neo has one at all. So. Um, but uh, the, the DAC, I'm not sure of the DACs, but this one, it says uh, that it's an ES9038 Pro versus an ESS9038 QTM. Um, I'm not sure what the difference on that is, but, uh, uh, you know, I do know that the the AudioCom and the Signature are definitely audiophile uh, quality DACs that, that they used from the from prior ver version, the audio the audio com and then that the um, signature is also using audio audio file grade DAX and that also uh, you also like uh, John Anthony mentioned you got the OLED display on the front and then um, one another adjustment that I saw was that there's a uh, uh, an adjustment for forward and backwards for 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 the AV sync. I believe that's for a link sync. Lip, yeah, lip, lip sync. sync. Yeah. So on the old model, there was only a forward for all the units. And then the other thing that I see is that you looks seems as though they add it to where you can skip chapters now. Also, uh, it mm -hmm. says uh, DVD chapters. Yes, on all the on all the uh, the new ones, and then and then not on the other ones. Now, if you guys are ripping your your movies as an MKV, I don't believe it's going to rip the chapters for you in that. I'm not positive on that, but I know the way that uh, John Anthony and I rip, we rip to a BDMV file or we actually rip to an ISO file, which, um, which gives the ISO file is a pure image of the disc. So there's zero law, zero compression whatsoever when ripping this way. And I, I believe that's the way uh, Jonathan's also, ripping his movies he's he's preparing he's he's already got egg boxes full of movies that he's that <laughs> showed us backstage uh that that he's been ripping and preparing already so um so oh, Don, i just want to piggyback sure. on on what you said about the lip sync i think that new feature is really important because my understanding is most av processor or uh av player they can only do forward lip syncing so from my understanding, there's no way to do backward lip syncing at all until this device came out. So when you run a projector, sometimes the lip sync may not be 100% at all. And you may have to play around um, with, with the lip syncing to make sure that what you're seeing on the screen and what the audio is, is completely synced up correctly. So being able to go backward and forward, I think that's a huge deal for, for home theater enthusiasts. Yeah, I, I definitely agree with that. You know, um, I know I had uh, a little bit of lipstick issue with my, uh, anytime I played a, um, anytime I played an animated movie, for some reason, my, I had to go in and adjust my denim to, 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 to make it work properly. Um, and then I switched some cables and, and did other things and was able to, to get that to, uh, to be able to work the, the lovely HDMI Kabakle, right? You know, <laughs> so I, I believe we've all ran into HDMI problems at one time or another. So, I think an interesting thing, Don, is if you, if you pull up the uh, comparison chart that you have there again, you know, I know we're um, we're looking at the difference in the models, the three new models that are coming out, 
but um, or are out, I guess, since we've got one of us already has one. But I think it's worth kind of looking. You've touched on it, but well, there's a lot there's a lot of differences in you know the four that they had previously. I think if you really look at it, what's nice is that you can say that this is a substantial upgrade on all fronts. You know, mm-hmm. it's not an incremental. Oh, maybe I should get a new one, even if I have an old one. Like it, it's a, it seems like it's a whole new game. Yeah, and I agree with that. You know, one hundred percent. Thanks for thanks for pointing that out, Jonathan. You know, it's um, it's a no brainer. As as uh, John and Anthony said to me earlier, it's a no no brainer to upgrade. You know, especially with um, Dolby Vision, and you know, if you're if it has um, if you're running like a video processor or something like that. My, uh, I'm, I actually have a Lumigen also, and it has two uh, outputs. So I plan on running two different, running to two different uh, areas. One in my living room, which I will have a Dolby Vision TV very soon. I plan on upgrading this year, and um, then I also planning plan on running it to my, my to my projector. So that way I can I can benefit for that. Um, I actually purchased the NZ9. And that, uh, excuse me, NZ8, I actually purchased the NZ8. That should be here this Thursday. And um, that actually has HDR10+. Plus. So if mm-hmm. I run if I run that straight, that HDMI straight to my uh, projector, I should be able to benefit from the HDR10+. Plus. Um, and uh, John Anthony, I believe you have the NZ8 on order along with Jonathan also, correct? Yes, Mine yep. should be coming at the end of the month. Very good. Very good. So without further ado, Mr. John, Mr. John Anthony, would you uh, be kind enough? Do the unboxing? Yeah. Let me to... show you the, the old one first before I take it off. Sure thing. Nope, we'll lose him. Oh, did, did... oh there he is. Oh, there it is. Let me move the chair over. Get right in the middle, right there. And uh, if you need me to move the camera, I can do that too. So I'm gonna zoom in on you in one second. Yep, here. yep. So this is the ZPD 4K Pro edition. Very good. Yeah, it's nice and solid. I I love the build. It's amazing. And I did. Uh, I'm sure both Don and I we did uh, an unboxing of this one about a year ago. So it hasn't been around that long since we got it. But this is gonna be moved into my bedroom. So I'll leave it over here on my chair. So we have something to compare in terms of the size. So by you moving that unit into your bedroom, uh huh, that's actually going to expand your, um, your storage area, correct? Correct. And that's the benefit of the Zipedia is that it, it can all be connected together. Uh, and so I'm, I'm planning to run three zones. I, right now I have two zones of the uh, CPD, one in the home theater and one in my bedroom. And, and it works flawlessly because I have a NAS too. So it's pulling the data, the movies off of my NAS. But if I run out of space on my NAS, I can definitely add two more to the storage right here. Yeah. That's, and and that's... they all can be connected. So I can literally with this one, this one, and the... Uh, the SE that I have on the floor right there, um, I can add a total of five more hard drive of 18 uh, terabytes per hard drive. Yeah, and actually the, um, not sure if you know or not, but the uh, the signature, it mm-hmm. actually can hold a 20 hard, uh, terabyte oh, drive. So they did do an upgrade on that. So too. they did an upgrade on that also. So yeah, it because, went from yeah. uh, 18, to, 18 to 20. Yeah, 18 to yep. 20. All right, are we ready for this? Yes, sir. All right, let's, let's see what it. this beautiful thing looks like. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. Now, Don, can does this have can this hold 120 or 220 terabyte drives? Now, the signature actually can hold uh 220 terabyte drives, so it has two bays in it. Um, we can once we get done with the unboxing here, we can go back and look at the, the differences yeah. again between the between the other models. And realistically, for ninety percent of the people, that's forty terabytes of hard drive. That's plenty. Yeah. So, how many movies do you have in your collection, uh, John Anthony? I have uh, thirteen hundred. Uh, thirteen hundred movies. Yeah. 
So with my kind of guesstimation is usually uh, you get 100 uh, 4K movies onto a 6 terabyte and 200 uh, regular Blu-ray movies onto a 6 terabyte. So you can kind of estimate it out and see. So it's definitely double box. We got this. Let's see what's in it. So got all of the power plugs, and this is an and the antenna. So, uh, Wi-Fi and antenna. Wi-Fi antenna or and, Bluetooth. And Don, yeah. this is a new remote control, right? Is this the one that's backlit? Yes, uh, that is correct. That's another feature also with the new remote that is actually backlit. So yeah. for those oh. of you that don't have um, a Harmony remote or uh, some kind of system like a Savant or a Control 4, that backlit remote will definitely help you out. And mm -hmm. um, John Anthony, how many plugs did you get with that thing? I, re I remember getting... Oh, like, I have a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> like it's pretty four much or five international. Plugs with that thing. Yeah. yeah, it's international. So they give you like a cord for everything pretty much. So <laughs> it's becoming a little bit ridiculous. Just the HDMI cable that it comes with. And this is for the European plug for Asia. This is for the US. And this one, I'm not quite sure. Okay. I've never yeah, seen well, a plug we'll for just... this before. But there, so there's four different types of plug styles for mm -hmm. for all over, basically. Oh, so you have no excuse for not getting one of these. <laughs> and and this is the nice part; they're actually giving you your mount, so you can you mount it in your rack. You don't have to buy your own mount. Okay, very good. So that's very nice. And actually, they give you a uh, the the blaster for your remote control. An so IR, that's blaster, the IR blaster. Yep. Yeah. Okay. I, I won't be using it because I have all control four, so that's nice. All right, so let's put this on the side, and then it's just the re the player. All right. Let me carefully make sure I don't drop it. I'll be very mad at myself if I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can just return to Don. <laughs> it's, it's 30 days guarantee, right, Don? <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> this is not Amazon. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> no, obviously, if you have a problem with the unit, we, we definitely pride ourselves on customer service at mm -hmm. Verizon Home Theater. Yep. Let me make sure this is the back. So let me turn this to the front. Wow, look at that. Like you say, Jonathan, I think this is a complete redesign pretty much inside and out. It's not like a couple minor upgrade at all. Yeah, it looks a lot taller, right? Compared yeah, to it is table. taller. Let me hold it side by side. Let me make sure this table is sturdy enough. Oh, yeah. So that's a, a little two, bit taller, a, a little bit yeah. deeper, too. It looks okay. like it went from like a 1U to a 2U or something. A to a 2U. Yeah. Supposed to be. This is supposed to be a 2U. It won't fit a 1U. This can fit a 1U. Okay. Yeah. And and you can see it's it's deeper. Okay. You get definitely more volume. Of... Okay. And you flip down the screen. So now you see the bay. It is vertical bay instead of horizontal. Let okay, so there's the light. there's one on top of the other. Yep. And then that's the screen. Oh, and the nice thing uh, that Don you pointed out to me earlier today is you're gonna have a headphone jack right in the front for the for the uh, signature. Yes, I believe that is the only model that, that has a headphone mm -hmm. jack. 
because um, the signature is more for audio file in, in mind. Correct. Now, I, I do believe that the, um, the Pro 4K actually had one also. It has one also, one? yeah, because it's for the audio file, yep. Correct. So, beautiful. Yes, very nice. Let's take a look at the around. back. What's that? So let's take a look at the back of that thing. Yeah. So all gold plated. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that is that is very nice. All right. Let me move the camera to uh, see if we can get it closer, okay? All right. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, that's a great shot. All right, so kind of like what we did in our unboxing in the past. So the power cord you have, so you have pretty much un, unlimited amount of connection that you can get more hard drive into this one. So like you said, you get two internal hard drive. You can plug external hard drive as many as you want to pretty much. And I have bought a dongle before where you can connect in one of these, you connect for a six external hard drive without running into any issues. That is correct. That's actually Whatsoever. how I do mine because um I don't have a I don't have a NAS. So mm -hmm. I actually use the um not the promoter brand, but I use the the uh what are they? The easy stores that are sixteen and eighteen terabyte. And um as you mentioned I, I plugged them into a dongle, a yep. USB three dongle and mm -hmm. it works flawlessly. Mm -hmm. So you can see you have one USB, uh, USB 3.0, one USB Type-C, and uh, another USB 2.0. So right there, you can plug as, at least three hard drive in easily without using a dongle. And then you have your Ethernet port. You have your IR blaster to go right there. And then these are con the connection for your HDMI. So this is an HDMI in, so you can plug your Blu-ray player if you want to uh, straight into there and have this control it. Uh, this this is your HDMI out. One is with video and audio, the other one with, with audio only. So you can run separately. And that's how I do it on my system. Like you, Don, I have a Lumogen processor, so I run it separately uh, to the video, go straight to my uh, Lumogen. Yeah, it's nice to have those Mm -hmm. Two separate, two separate ports. And then these are your antennas up here. You have your Wi-Fi antennas, Wi-Fi on this side, and then these are your coaxial that uh you can do coaxial out straight to um to your processor if you want to. And this one here, this is your digital app. Okay. And digital in. So these two are digital out and digital in. I see. Um, yep. Let me and see. what oh, are the and ports on the... This is the toss link. Completely almost mislooked. That's why I was thinking, like, where's the toss link one? Because the uh, the older version has the toss link. So it's still, they still kept the toss link for those who want to use toss link. And then and these are, yeah. Toss link is a balanced is a balanced cable guys. So if you guys are not familiar with that, that's actually a balanced cable. Mm -hmm. And this is your, uh, your XLR. So it's beautiful to have the XLR out. I don't think my, uh, the pro has it. Let me double check. Uh, no, the pro does not have the XLR. Yeah. The audio, the audio com version did. They have the XLRs okay. out. So I gotcha. those are also balanced. Um, I'm mm -hmm. sure most of you guys already know that those are also balanced. Is there? Yeah. Do they still have the uh, the ground loop? No. Um, they, so that's what I was looking at last night because I disconnected my Zabidi Pro and I'm like, oh, should I keep this wire for the ground loop or not? So I went and looked. They do not have the ground loop anymore. Okay. Yeah. I I did with and without ground loop. loop right. And I, I couldn't tell any difference at all. I see. Can you turn it back around to the front mm -hmm. so yeah, that we can what see what the, the yep. bays look like? Yep, yep, yep. Man, that thing is beautiful. It's it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, we can see the bays a lot better now. They're stacked on top of each other on the right there. And it's easy to install. 
there's an open door, you pop it in. That's it. Very good. Very mm -hmm. good. Well, John Anthony, thank you so much for, for sharing that with us. We, you know, I really well, appreciate other, that. One thing, Don, I just want to mention for those who are new to Zapiti, they also have the USB plug in the front for you to add a more hard drive. I believe there's a total of five USB ports on this, on mm -hmm. this unit here. And this is super so. convenient because sometimes you, you just want to check out a movie that you have on your thumb drive. You yeah. don't have to reach around in the back, try to fit it in. You just put one right here or a little portable hard drive that, you know, someone loaned you a movie. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, to the front. so you can just pop it in right in front. Just want to show you one more time comparison. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. one looks so much smaller than him. Yeah. I think it's because it's got the stacked bays that it's, uh, what about width wise? Is it, yeah. is it wider yeah, or it, is it the same? I think it's deep. It's definitely deeper, but it is pretty much the same. Same, same. So it, so it'll fit right into your rack. So it'll fit. It's pretty yeah, much exactly right the same. But there I don't believe go. this one came with a rack ears at all. Yeah. I was going to ask, do you have that one on a shelf? Did you have that one on a shelf in your rack? I did. I did. So, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. Let me put my camera back on. Hello. Can you see me? Uh, no, you went. Did I lose my camera? You went black here. Huh. It's a cool look, whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh. It's my Mac. It's acting up. So I'm gonna go ahead while you're while you're fixing that. I'm gonna go ahead yeah. and share um, my screen again, so we can go back to some of the some of the comparisons that we were talking about. So basically, um, as we mentioned, there are uh, five USB ports on the on the signature on the reference. And there are four on the Neo. Um, doesn't say which ones are 3.0, 2.0, or USB-C. I know that um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that Zapiti fixed the issue with the USB-C. That there you go. I'm hoping Thank that. You. Sorry about Z that. No, it's no problem. I'm hoping that Zapiti fixed the issue with the USB-C port. Because um, I believe you and I both had an issue with the USB-C uh, for playback before, John mm -hmm. Anthony. Yeah. So I um, hope they fix that. Also, um, big difference in the Android version, too. So yeah. it's uh, 9.0 versus 6.1. And um, this is the Neo. So we'll take go ahead and take a look at that and see if it has pictures of the... Uh, the front and back on it. Um, not sure if you guys know or not, but there are different skins uh, that that you can play during the. Um, as you can see up here, this is the the uh, stock skin that comes with the Zapiti, mm -hmm. and um, they had another one that was called Silver. And I have it, and we can look at it, you know, in a few minutes. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, so it's it's this red red type and um as we mentioned the backlit remote um for and this is even for the neo so all of them are getting the ne uh, backlit remote uh mentioned the two hdmi outputs mentioned the gold plated ports and um uh the zapiti is very configurable guys i mean i can and anybody that owns one of these they can actually see a whole picture wall you can um, you can see just two rows of your movies, uh, and we can go through that in a minute with um, an example of uh, the Zapiti app that John Anthony has on the computer. I also have it, um, and you can even uh, get it on your mobile phone. And with 1,300 movies and me getting as old as I am, 
I'm having difficulties remembering what movies I have and are they in 3D? Are they in Blu-ray? Are they, you know, and I, I have just about as many movies as John Anthony. And, um, you know, so while I'm at Best Buy standing there looking, do I have this? And I, I literally go on my phone and I, and I check it out and see if I, if I have this or not, you know? So, um, there's, uh, good thing is it works with, uh, Savant, Harmony, Control 4, Crestron. Um, I know there are some third-party drivers for it also. Uh, mm -hmm. John Anthony, I believe you have the, um, the Zapiti, what is it, the Chow Mein driver for your, the, the, for your Control 4? Yeah, the Chow Mein driver for Control 4. It's amazing. You can touch screen on your Control 4 remote and you go straight to the movie. So it has the artwork right there. And you're just scrolling through the artwork on your remote just like you do on the TV. And, and then you just hit the, the artwork picture and it goes straight to that movie. It's super convenient. John, I think it's, is the Chow Mein driver uh, like um, platform specific in that? Like I have one for a different media player. Yes. Um, uh, so does the yes, same one do that or is it a separate one specifically for Zapiti that Chow Mein makes? It's separate one specifically for the PD because I have okay. the Xiaomi for the Kaleidoscape. Too. Right, right. That's what I have. I didn't know if mm -hmm. it was two separate drivers or not. The interface looked very much the same because it was written by the same person who did it. Okay. Yeah. So, so the the interface looked very, very much similar to one another. And this is just an example of um, different categories it's showing. I'm just letting this run through from the website. Cause that's where I'm actually, I'm actually on zapiti.com. And, um, this is just showing some of the, uh, the way that the, uh, UI works with, with the Zapiti. Um, so it's, uh, it's just cycling through different things. One thing that people don't think about with the Zapiti is that it's actually, you know, the, especially the one that, uh, John Anthony just purchased, it's, it can play music and it can play music very well. So um, if you're not a streamer, if you want, you know, to put put your entire collection on your hard drive and have access to it, there is a section there for, for you to play either movies, video, or music. When this thing launches, it gives you an option for movies or music. Um, I'm not as much as a, a, a music enthusiast as these two guys, but um, I can tell you that I've listened to some music on here, and it, it does sound phenomenal. What I'm really excited about is it can play S, uh, SACD. SACD directly rip. You can rip your SACD in an ISO file, and it play the SACD directly from my NAS, just like I have an SACD in the play itself. So that was the Neo. Let me go ahead and go to the um, to the signature. We'll go to that one. That way we can see exactly what that one just in case it was a, a little bit hard for you guys to see um, as you can see it does have the OLED display on the front be nice if that would would pop up as long as you had it uh, in a different spot other than the front of the TV maybe some additional graphics kind of like um, the net the um, what is that the M10 does for when it's playing music or, or your room yeah. Let's go down here to the back. So there's the uh, the two bays that we were talking about. The backlit remote again. That is the uh, the dual R core power supplies. Your hi-fi outputs. Mm -hmm. And yeah, right there, Don, that's the SACD. It tells you exactly what it plays for those who love to for play audio. music. For Video audio. codex is um, UHD ISO, mm -hmm. BD, BDMV, 
which uh, I'm not sure if you guys know what BDMV is. Basically, that is what actually comes on your Blu-ray and your 4K discs. So there's basically a bunch of folders that um, that the move that 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 is loaded onto your Blu-ray or 4K disc. And um, anybody that's interested in purchasing one of these units from Horizon Home Theater, I definitely um, would walk you through on how to rip your movies, how to get you set up. Um, you have to purchase a special optical drive, which um, I don't sell those, but I, we do have some, I do know somebody that does. So we would, I could get you in contact with them. Uh, Jonathan, you purchased one of them from the, from the gentleman, Alex, correct? I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's been working great. So um, basically it's an external drive that just plugs USB three right into your, you can plug it into your Mac or you can plug it into your, now you will need a, if you're plugging it into your Mac, if depending on the model of Mac, you'll need a, um, a, a dongle to plug USB into Lightning or USB-C. That's how I plug mine into my MacBook Pro. Um, if you're just using Windows, straight into your straight into your Windows computer, uh, USB three, and it um, and then I also plug the uh, external hard drive, which is this easy store right here. Uh -huh. I plug that right into right into my um, using a, a different SATA cable. It's a SATA to U to Lightning cable. Um, I think Amazon had them for like five dollars, so I just used a SATA to uh, to the Lightning to plug it in. And as I mentioned, if you um, if you do purchase one of these through Horizon Home Theater, no problem. I'll go through it with you on the uh, on the phone or video chat on how to set everything up with you. Uh, we'll get it shipped to you directly. Um, now, inventory is a little scarce right now, uh, but we do expect for them to be in around Christmas time. So um, we could possibly get that out to you by Christmas, as long as there's no delays. So as mentioned, it supports ISO, which basically just takes a, takes a picture of the disc and it makes it mountable, and you can re-rip that also. Excuse me, guys. Gene, talk about the SACD for a minute. Yeah, so um, SACD, I, I have a couple of them. It's it's really hard to find. It's, it's an older format, but the nice thing about SACD is you actually listening to your music in a 5.1. It's not up mixing at all at all, you know, your, your CDs, you listen it as 2.1. Now you, you're getting more of the streaming uh, platform that's releasing uh, Adobe uh, Atmos right now, like Apple is releasing Adobe At Atmos Music and, and all of that. Uh, same with Tidal, I think Tidal just sent me a, um, a notification that their music's gonna be also in Atmos too. So I don't know how long SACV gonna survive, um, if it's even popular around, I still listen to them. I still have a s small collection of them that I listen to. So I, I'm planning on just ripping them into ISO file and, and running through my uh, Zipidi. And then we definitely want to look at the, the reference, the middle one. I don't think we talk about it yet right now. I think that's where most people are going to be interested in. Don, I think you're on mute. Yeah, and, and, and in my opinion, you know, unless you're an audiophile, the reference is going to be a great player for you. You know, um, these two guys are definitely uh, two-channel enthusiasts here. And uh, listen to a ton of music, ton of concerts. Um, so you know, I would I would definitely definitely suggest the the reference and the signature. But um, if you're just wanting to get into this, the Neo is is a is a great option too, especially with um, them expanding everything to uh, HDR10. Uh, excuse me, um, the uh, Dolby Vision HDR10 Plus. Um, and, uh, and the, uh, Dolby Vision S, S, 
SV10 or BS10, excuse me. So let me go ahead and go in here and we'll look at the, uh, we'll look at the reference also. So the reference, it still has the same OLED display on the front. Still does everything that the uh, that the signature does. I'm going to go down here to the back. Still gets the backlit remote. Um, one thing this does have is the Turtle power supply versus the Arcor power supply. Still has a really nice DAC. I think one of the big the things that's missing is the um, headphone amplifier. Right. Yeah, it doesn't have the headphone amplifier. Um, however, it does have the balanced output still yep. on the on the back of this one. Yep. And um, still the uh, USB 3, the Lightning uh, C, USB-C, and it still has the separated audio and video out. So, Jonathan, the big question. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? I don't know, man. I, uh... I, I think you need your headphone jack, Jonathan. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, my, my, I'm kind of torn. Like, I don't think it'll be the Neo. I think it's deciding between the reference and the signature for myself. Um, <clears throat> cause I will, if I'm listening to audio, it's going to be through my two channel system using that as a source. So um, if I listen to headphones, that's coming through my integrated amp um, as opposed to just plugging directly into that rack uh, mounted unit. So um, I don't know. It's going to come down to maybe whichever one's in stock first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not the most yeah. patient of guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I found that out. So, um, you know, uh, we had them lined up with a Neo at first, and then I thought I was going to be able to get my hands on a signature. So we, uh, we changed it to a signature. Just wanted to, uh, say hi to a couple guys here. Uh, thank, thank you, Matt, for joining the party. We were, we definitely appreciate it. Kanga audio system specialist. Thank you guys for, for coming, coming out and, and taking a look at this today for the first video video podcast i guess we'll call it <laughs> for for horizon home theater and uh positron hi-fi well guys that's all i have for for the uh the the zapiti models and um i'm definitely going to have a signature in my rack um and as john anthony is doing i'm going to go ahead and move my 4k pro up into my into my bedroom so that I can and, uh, use the shared storage um, that I can that benefit from by having four internal bays now and then currently have five externals hooked to a dongle. So, and I'll be able to play all those on both players uh, flawlessly. So, I definitely appreciate you guys joining the, uh, the Hi Fi. Uh, Positron Hi-Fi and uh, Horizon Home Theater. And Jonathan, thank you for joining me. I appreciate, really appreciate you being the uh, second customer of mine. Um, I actually have a third third customer. We just took an order yesterday for a reference. Um, if you guys are interested in any other type of AV equipment, I am um, a dealer through Wave, which distributes uh, SI screens, um, Denon, Marantz. Um, we also sell, have... Uh, Mid Atlantic racks and, and different racks. So please don't feel free to uh, send me an email at the uh, Horizon Theater 2020 at Gmail, or you can text or call me at that number going across the screen, which is 561 962 2663. So thank you guys for joining, and uh, thank you guys for the comments and for the appreciation, and thank you for the, for the support. Have a good day, guys, and if I don't speak to you between now and then, have a great holiday.
Thanks for having me, Don. Thanks, Don. See you guys. Bye.